Hey folks, my name is Joe Gross. I write about movies and culture for the Austin American Statesman. For a whole host of reasons, I think that Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, is an utter garbage fire. In fact, here is an actual garbage fire. I would rather watch two hours and 33 minutes of that than sit through Batman v Superman again. I thought about submitting a review that was just one long scream, or maybe something like this, but neither really works in print. You might remember Batman director Zack Snyder's earlier movie, Man of Steel, which introduced the world to a brooding Superman who thinks nothing of battling fellow Kryptonian named General Zod in the middle of a city, killing thousands of people, and then running counter to literally decades of characterization, snapping Zod's neck. Keeping with this theme of really unheroic heroes, Batman v Superman features Batman, played with a steady glare by Ben Affleck, who brands bad guys with a red-hot bat symbol, which gets them killed in prison, uses guns or grenade launchers, and lets bad guys die repeatedly. This, too, runs counter to decades of characterization. Batman decides that Superman is too big of a threat and has to die, which sort of makes sense given the destruction in the first movie. Superman has his own problems, what with being dragged before Congress and all. But as the audience becomes aware, much of all of this is being manipulated by Lex Luthor, played by Jesse Eisenberg, who, with his manic energy and weird commentary all the time, acts more like this guy. For a guy who's supposed to be the world's greatest detective, it's in his job title and all, Batman keeps wandering into very obvious traps. It's kind of nice when this gal shows up, who is also this person. She's pretty great. Maybe her movie will be good. And Superman just keeps getting more and more cynical, mumbling to his mother, no one stays good in this world. Except Superman is supposed to. That's the point of Superman. When Batman and Superman eventually do team up, do they find philosophical common ground? Nope, they bond over a weird bit of DC Comics trivia. It takes about a minute. I'm not sure what Snyder has against these characters, why he is so determined to make them as distasteful as possible, to make a movie so relentlessly anti-fun. I'm not the only critic who feels this way. Batman v Superman is currently clocking a 32% on Rotten Tomatoes. If this sounds like a trend that you want to see in superhero movies, relentlessly negative, really unpleasant superheroes, knock yourself out. See it twice. But if it's not, you should not see this movie. You very literally should not buy a ticket. A hate watch still puts money in Warner Brothers' pockets. And I, for one, am still holding out for a movie about these guys.